Scattered throughout downtown Fresno are art collectives and galleries that play host to art hall. Uh, because it's spread out, a lot of people, you know, check out the art in the Tower District and they might not come downtown. Other people might be um, devoted to Sorensen's and the art galleries that are around that area. We do 12 of these a year, so every venue at least touches 12 artists. And, um, and then we have over 70 venues now. Two of those artists, Robert Ogata and Don Hart, who have helped build Art Hop to what it is today, have been staples in the event for a long time, displaying their work and inspiring those who come out. Started up, you know, galleries and and cooperatives and things that would give it an opportunity for a great number of artists to be able to show their work without being in a, necessarily in a commercial gallery, but something that's related to, as a group and as a community. Moving right across the street, you can find the Clay Hand Studios, where Ogata's former student Don Hart shares a gallery with her fellow art teachers, helping to expand Fresno's cultural breadth. Definitely. Definitely. So downtown Fresno has a ton of galleries and more popping up every day and I think we're really the cultural hub of the San Joaquin Valley. The arts community and events like Art Hop are helping transform downtown Fresno into the community centric area that people were envisioning. Just last year, the building of the graduate art studios here on M Street was finished. This gives the opportunity for students like Joanna Guerrero to not only get involved in what they are passionate about, but also gather inspiration. It like inspires me sometimes, like some work I did never seen, artists I never heard about, and I'm just like, whoa, that's awesome, I want to do that. The impact of Art Hop's 22 year existence can be taken in no better way than actually attending the event and taking in all that it has to offer.